This is creating a directory structure for After Effects projects. When you are creating a video or animation in After Effects, you will need to collect different types of files and content to include in your project file. Because the files that you import into your project file will be linked rather than embedded, it is important to keep the files in the same location in relation to the project file at all times. The program will need to link to the file in the directory where it is located, and each time you open the project file, it will need to find all the asset files in the same relative position to the main file. So you should set up a directory structure and keep all of the assets in folders inside a main project folder. You should keep the project file in a folder inside the main project folder too. This way you can move the main project folder anywhere you would like to move it, but the files will always be in the same relative position to each other in the inner folders. So create a main outside project folder. Right click to create the folder. Then name it something unique. I'm going to call this my last name, my first initial, and the word demo. Now you want to create folders inside of this folder to hold your asset. So open it up. And now you can create folders inside by right clicking. But remember, after you name each one, You've got to deselect the folder, or it will put the next folder inside of that folder. And you don't want that. You want them to be inside the, the outside main folder so that you can reach them right away. So I'm going to create one folder, and I'm going to call this one 01 Project. This is where I will put my After Effects project file. This one I'm going to call video. So any videos that I need to use, I'm going to put into this folder. This one I'm going to call audio. This is where I'll put any audio that I'm going to include in my project. And that audio could be MP3, AIFF, WAV, any of the compatible file types. Now this one I'm going to call layered and you might want to call it layered PSD AI if that helps you remember that PSD files and AI files are layered files that you can import as a composition into an After Effects project file. I'm going to call this one Flat Images. This is where I would put JPEGs or PNG files, um, TIFF files, files that don't have layers. And then the last one, when you're working for clients, often they will have some content that needs to be in their project, that needs to be in whatever type of file you're making for them. And they may not have the correct format that you need, but you should save the original in the provided files folder so that if you need to go back to it for anything, you'll have it. So this is my structure so far. I've got this outer folder that I can move anywhere, and then anything inside of these inner folders will always be in the same relationship to each other so that we will not lose the link. Now I'm going to start moving things into the correct folders. So I've got several sound files. I'm going to open up the audio folder. I'm going to select all these sound files. And I'm moving them in.
Okay, so there's my audio files. Now I've got some PSD files. I've got this one and this one. Oh, and one of them got mixed in with the other, so I'm going to move this one. Sometimes that happens. Move this one out because it got mixed in with my audio, but now I want to put it in here. Okay, so now I've got my PSD files there. These are also PSD files. Now these are all JPEGs, so these all go into the flat images. Okay, now I'm ready to create a project file. So I'm going to open up After Effects. Okay, now I want to start a new composition, make sure that it's the right size, and five seconds, so, and I'm going to actually call this my project name, so. HDV, HDTV, 720, 29.97. So it's width 1280, height 720, and the duration will be 5 seconds at this point. You can change that to anything you want to, but I just want to make sure that I have a comp already before I start doing anything. Okay, I'm going to right click, I'm going to import a file, and I'm going to import this key. Now I'm going to make sure that Photoshop sequence is not turned on. It always wants to import as a Photoshop sequence if you have a number at the end of your file name. So you have to turn that off. Now I'm going to Composition Retain Layer Sizes and I'm going to open that and make sure that it has got the correct settings and say OK. Now, when I open that up, it will be five seconds long. OK, now I'm going to File, Save, and it's going to ask me where I want to save it. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it into the folder on my desktop. I'm going to give it a name. And there it is. And now I can go ahead and start importing everything else. So I'm going to import my other files. And make sure it's not importing it as a Photoshop sequence. It's not good. Composition retain layer sizes. Composition retain layer size is not a Photoshop sequence. Make sure because whenever there's a number at the end, and I had to use numbers, and I'm going to say open, and that's correct. Okay, now we're getting to be really, really full here, so I'm going to create a folder for my 
comps. And I'm going to put all the comps in there along with their layers. And remember the layers have all of the different layers in your Photoshop file as Photoshop files inside of a folder so that the comps are based on those Photoshop files. Now I'm going to import some of my other files. So let's see, let's go for the sound file. So audio, and I'm going to say OK, import, and I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it audio. And I'm going to move everything into that folder. Now I think the only thing we have left is flat images. So we can enable all the acceptable files. We can import them as JPEG. And I'm not going to use any sequences. See, it's seeing the numbers, but make sure that the sequences are not turned on. And let's put those into a folder so that I have everything organized. I'm going to save that and I'm going to close this. Quit and then I'll show you what happens if you move something. So let's say that I decided that I'm going to, oh, I'm, I'm going to put the alligator shoe into the provided files folder just for the heck of it. And I will show you what happens. If you open it now, One file is missing since you last saved the project. OK. To find out what file it is, you type missing, and you see it is alligator shoe. You click on alligator shoe, and it doesn't know where it is, so it shows you color bars. Right click on it, replace footage, and go find where you put it select it, open it, and now it's happy. And then if there are no missing files, and everything's good.